although our understanding about the underlying pathobiology of lung cancer was very limited at the beginning of the millennium, we have made large strides over the last two decades to identify the genomic profile of those malignancies and have identified certain mutations which function as molecular drivers and disarrange the intracellular signal transduction pathway in a way that a malignant transformation occurs. And those very oncogenic mutations are not only of prognostic and diagnostic value, but they also help us to identify treatment targets and for those very oncogenic mutations, a plethora of treatments has been developed and now we can make informed treatment decisions on the base of those oncogenic mutations. Yeah, I totally agree and basically the driver mutations make the tumor cells addicted to a particular biochemical pathway for uh, uh, proliferation and survival. It's interesting when the first uh, EGFR inhibitors came out, the first generation, eight to 10% of the patients had pretty dramatic responses. And people were trying to figure out what molecular signature would identify that. And many felt that it was a very complicated pathway. It would take a long time before we figured it out. But uh, that all changed back around 2004. And it's changed because of an article that was written in the Boston Globe, the Sunday edition. Uh, Dr. Tom Lynch was treating a young woman, 43 years old, never had smoked, had lung cancer metastatic to her liver, had been treated with chemo, it's progressing. He put her on a first generation EGFR inhibitor, had a dramatic response, which was lasting for several years. So the Boston Globe had an article about her. Dr. Dan Haber, who is Dr. Lynch's boss, Dr. Haber is a breast cancer doctor, but a very smart guy. And uh, he called Tom up on Sunday morning and said, you know, how many patients do you have like this? And, Tom said, probably 10 or 12, and do we have tissue? And Tom said, yeah, I think we do. He said, I think they have an activating EGFR mutation. And so they got the tissue and he sequenced the EGFR gene and exactly what he predicted was found. So people were saying it's gonna be years before we figure this out. Uh, Dr. Haber had an epiphany, a wonderful idea. He was correct, and EGFR driver mutations were found. And this has led to just an explosion of molecular studies in lung cancer and identification of new targets and new targeted therapies and has really changed the outcome for patients with advanced non-small cell lung cancer who have these mutations.